Praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father, and Yahushai is the name of His only begotten Son, in whom the world has originally called Jesus Christ, in whom we do worship. We are the Hebrew Israelites, which consists of you so called Negroes, Latinos, Native American, and some of Indians, to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad. Greetings, giving double honors unto my apostles, my elders, and my teachers at Great Millstone that are ruling well and continue to do so, that taught me and brothers like me this truth, this beautiful truth, beginning with the names of our power and of his anointed. Now, these are the two most important things you will ever know, the name of the Heavenly Father and the name of his only begotten Son. They're proper and true names. They have many titles, yes, but one and true proper name of the Father and Son. So the name of the Heavenly Father is, whom the world is going to be called Jehovah, or Yahweh, or God. His name is Yahweh, Yah, meaning he, Hawa, meaning exists, or is, or is to be. He is, he exists, he, the existing one. And in the name of his only begotten Son, a name above every name given amongst men here on earth, to the Israelite man first, and also to the believers consisting of women, children, helps of the prophets, and those that have faith, the true believers will be calling upon the name Yahweh Shai, which is the true and proper name of the Heavenly Father's Son that have been lost to us for a time, but have been returned through the grace, mercy, and predestination of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. But those that will believe in this time, it is an acceptable time to call upon the Lord. Did any ever call upon the Lord and were confounded or were forsaken? No. So now we will call upon the name of our power, Yahweh. He exists, and the name of his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, which means he, deliverer, he, savior. Okay? So I played uh, this uh, song from Seal. Oh, man. It's spiritual because you got to have the seal, the seal of approval. Woo! And he's, uh, that, that song, Crazy. And I remember uh, the elder, Yashawamba, mentioned it a little bit. He's like, hey, we're crazy. You did. They look at us out there on the highways and hedges and we look crazy, but you got to be uh, crazy. If, if we're, if we're going to survive, you got to be a little crazy. you right. If we're ever going to survive, like in the song and Lord's willing, why T don't get on my case for that. I'm just using it for educational purposes. Now, this is the book of first Corinthians four and 10. We are fools, which another word for fools would be crazy. We are fools for Mashiach's sake, but ye are wise in Mashiach. We are weak. Yeah, because, it, uh, you know, our apostles, our elders, the brothers out there really risking their lives and freedoms to do so, as the elder Malcolm says in Chicago, we're really risking our lives and freedoms. We, we take the blunt of the hate and, and you guys are ugly and you're stupid and y'all got dresses on. But then the people listening is like what you learn and gain is like, man, where did you learn all this stuff from? And you'll say the apostles, elders, brothers, the Israelites, but then the men out there actually on the front lines is taking the blunt of it. We are seen as weak. We're seen, you know, as fools. But yet, hey, you are wise in Mashiach and you are honorable in him. Okay? It says, we are fools for Mashiach's sake, but you are wise in Mashiach. We are weak, but you are strong. You are honorable, but we are despised. So call all y'all about Mashiach. Hey, it all it all works uh, uh, in unison, one towards another. We, hey, in order to survive, we got to be a little crazy. Now, let's, re let's read in the uh, NLT. Our dedication to Mashiach makes us look like fools, but you claim to be so wise in Mashiach. We are weak, but you are so powerful. And you got other dudes that may be preaching in the name of the Lord, but they're doing it for contention and hatred. But uh, uh, you, you you're so you're so powerful. 
you know. But hey, we are weak. It is cool because that's where the Lord shows his power when we don't have power ourselves to do anything. But yet we go out there week in and week out in the midst of pestilences, plagues, uh, shutdowns, lockdowns, and we're still giving the word because it is of the Lord that these things are so. And we're going to get into that word um, fool as well. And it's going to lead to something huh, unexpected, but only if you study will you find this thing out. So we're going to bring it out. Reading on, it says, we are weak, but you are so powerful. You are honored, but we are ridiculed. See? So it's, it's a give and take. We're made perfect through our sufferings like our Lord and our Savior. He was uh, made poor to make us rich. It said he, uh, uh, in his in his poverty, made, made us rich. Let me get that real quick. The Lord did it, you know? To, to most people, oh, this dude, this ain't the Lord's son. Like, who is this guy? Like, But yet he was. By all the things that he gave, by the words that he spoke, by what he could do, in the spirit, only through Yahweh, the Father, could he do such things? And the same for us. Only through Yahweh Bashim al can we achieve a power greater than any. It doesn't take money or, or military might or weapons. Because it says wisdom is better than weapons of war. So how much how much more than will we have through Mashiach? Here it is. 2 Corinthians 8 and 9. For ye know the grace of our Lord, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, that though he was rich, yeah, he was rich, had a lucrative business, being a carpenter, that was a lucrative business even now. But imagine it 2,000 years ago. Plus, when the Lord was born, uh, he was given gold, frankincense, myrrh. These are, these are high uh, quality things, even to this day. So imagine like the purest of the pure and, and the men traveling from the east, giving it to our Lord as a baby. Then his father, Joseph, from the line of David, also his mother, uh, Mary, from the line of David. Uh, hey, they were, they were well off. Why? Because Joseph was a carpenter. See, and plus they received all those things when the Lord Yahweh Shai was born. Okay, call all you la Yahweh Shai, but it's letting you know the Lord was rich. Okay, you know, in a lot of these movies, it show the Lord just wandering around, but no, he was he was moving in style. Okay, he he had uh, the best of the best, you know, but he he didn't care about none of those things. He's like, okay, the Lord have chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith. That's what the Lord was really. Uh, uh, looking for just like the the rich man saying what what shall I do to inherit eternal life he says sell all your possessions and follow me but the, the the rich man didn't understand that the Lord was giving him the inside scoop like, all right bro if you really want what I'm going to give you give all this up and become rich in faith and suffer that's the only way you're going to be made perfect through suffering and that's what the Lord showed through his suffering was he not made perfect we as well being fools for his sake, ridiculed, scoffed at, put down, but yet Yahweh is with us. Let's read on. It says, For ye know the grace of our Lord Yahweh Mashiach, that though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor, that ye through his poverty might be rich. Rich in faith, rich in all manner of things that, we're, that we would need. Hence the Lord's prayer. As even the disciples like, Lord, teach us how to pray. And the Lord uh, gave them what they would uh, say. Hallowed be the name of the Heavenly Father. His kingdom come. His will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day. Give us from day to day bread. Enough. Sufficiency. You know. And then keep us from evil and temptation. And those that we are indebted to. May they be forgiven. That we be forgiven of our debts as well. And things of that nature. And in all glory. Honor, dominion, and power be unto Yahweh Shemashah and his kingdom forever and that was the lord's prayer you see but the lord gave us riches beyond belief now reading on up top first corinthians 4 and 11 in order to survive you know we got we got to get a little crazy for yahweh shai because dude men have run out of their wits for women for money for madness for the devil but what about the lord why why, why not make yourself a fool for that but you'll make a fool of your damn self on national TV or an idiot or on TikTok just to, just to be a fool and an idiot. But why not do it for the Lord when there's great riches beyond it? To the world, we look like a, a fool. We are a spectacle both to angels and to men. But in the end, it is the glory of Yahweh by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. 
Now, let's get up out of this. Go back there. Here we go. This is uh, Proverbs. This is the, one of the, the riches and the gifts that the Lord gave unto us through the grace. Proverbs 18, 14. The spirit of a man will sustain his infirmities. You know, certain uh, uh, sicknesses you have. Your spirit can sustain that if you have a strong enough spirit. Like, yeah, I can get through it. Yeah, you know, it's just a, just my time, you know. This is just a time of sickness or or my body is weakened. But your spirit can fight that. Your spirit can be fight against all of it, even in, in the mental. A lot of mental battles brothers go through, but your spirit sustains the infirmity. But it says, but a wounded spirit, without Yahweh, who are you? Without our power, who are you? What can you do? It says, but a wounded spirit who can bear. That's that's what a lot of our, our people are going to bear, a wounded spirit. The only one who can fix the spirit is the one in the spirit. Yahweh Bashem Shai, the father of spirits. But if you're not tapping into the spirit, how can you ever heal from the inside? How can you ever know uh, what's beyond? It may look like a foolish thing carnally, but spiritually, hmm, in the spirit, what is it? It is it is a, a, a gateway to immortality. OK. It says the heart or mind of the prudent get it now. See, that's when you look past the carnal and you look at the men that are being called fools for my shack say, but what are they really doing? It says the heart, the mind of the prudent get it knowledge and the ear of the wise seeketh knowledge. So the heart, the mind of the prudent get it knowledge and the ear of the wise seeketh knowledge. And you're going to keep coming to those men that seem like fools. And then you yourself becoming a, a fool for Mashiach's sake, knowing that there's a great revenue and treasures at the end of it. Okay? So bear with me. All right, I'm back, Akim, and I pray that this is um, edifying and uh, informative. Because from a carnal standpoint, things seem out of place or out of order or what the hell is going on. But then when you're in, in, intimacy with Yahweh Shemel Shai and his ways, you're, you're never out of time. You're never caught unawares. But in order to survive, we got to get a little crazy because people going to go crazy. But just when they lose everything they seem to have, they're going to lose it, their mind, their wit. But we're going we're, we're losing it all for Yahweh Shemel Shai. Shai's sake, knowing that we're going to regain it back a hundredfold. Okay, it reads on, it says, a man's gift is a gift that Yahweh Bashmash have bestowed upon men. Right? It says, a man's gift maketh room for him and bringeth him before great men. See that? But it seemed foolish to the carnal, but to the spiritual light. No, that is a as a great treasure. That the excellency may be of the heavenly father and not of us, as it tells you in uh, 2 Corinthians 4, I'm in 1 Corinthians 4, 2 Corinthians 4 tells you we have this treasure in earthen vessels. The Lord was rich, but through his poverty, thou, you were made a uh, 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 rich. He became poor to make us rich, right? But then he gave us gifts, you know, not, not carnal gifts of gold and silver. Like, Here you go, hold that, hold this gold. No, he said, hold this spiritual gift, faith. Hold this grace that I'm bestowing upon you. Hold this uh, ability to prophesy. Hold this ability to teach. Hold this ability to uh, uh, travel and be an evangelist. Hold this ability uh, uh, of, of, of the gift of tongues and, and things of that nature to go into certain things. That is the treasure. The, the treasure acknowledges uh, power, as they say. We have the ultimate knowledge from Yahweh Bashem al What did it say? The heart of the prudent man would do. It would get knowledge and the ear of the wise seeketh knowledge. The more you hear the knowledge of Yahweh Bashem is the more you gain and get in your mind, in your heart. OK. And that was uh, pretty much it. Let's read up top. First Corinthians four and uh, eleven. Even unto this present hour, we both hunger and thirst because it's not our world. We're, we're passing through. But we're filled in, in, in righteousness. We hunger and thirst for righteousness. We are filled, even though in this modern time you may hunger and thirst. But it, even in that is a gift, because when you fast, it is a gift. You see, to most people, are you crazy? Why you ain't eating anything? Why you ain't going to drink nothing? 
I don't have to eat. I don't have to drink. What are you talking about? Like, you got to eat. You got to drink. Not understanding uh, uh, the gain that we get by tapping in to the, the treasures of the spirit. Got to get a little crazy, but it'll seem crazy the most. What, what the hell are you fasting for? It is is a spiritual gain that I'm trying to get. What you talking about? They don't understand from a carnal standpoint, but from a spiritual standpoint, oh, that's th those are gains right there. It's like you go to the gym to get gains, right? Your muscles were building in the spirit. It says, even now we go hungry and thirsty and we don't have enough clothes to keep warm. We are often beaten and have no home. See that? And then that, that happens to uh, certain brothers. They lose jobs. They lose uh, places of living. They, you know, they, they may go hungry and thirsty for a time, but they understand it is the suffering that's going to make them perfect as our Lord Yahweh Shai was made perfect. Okay. Even uh, he showed the disciples, did you ever lack anything when you were with me? You remember how the Lord multiplied the fishes and the loaves. And then he asked the disciples the, the, the two different times. How many basses did you take up? And one time, I believe, it was seven, and another time it was like 12. They had so much left over. The Lord has given us so much, we still have so much left over. Like, damn, I'm, you know, my Lord really hooked us up in the spirit by this gift, us being fools for his sake. It makes uh, uh, our people that are without strong and honored, okay? While we might seem weak or, or despised, it's all good. It says, and labor, working with our own hands, being reviled, we bless, being persecuted, we suffer it, doing the work, being those fools, beginning with our apostles and elders, being seen as fools uh, 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 more preferably. But really, we're crazy. Yeah, we're crazy for Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahushai. So we'll be crazy. It says, we work wary, warily, with our own hands to earn our living. We bless those who curse us. <laughs> we are patient with those who abuse us. Mm -hmm. That's right. Because we're still giving you the word. Whether you like us or not. You, you're actually gaining something. I don't give a damn what you say. You may not like us. But you be like damn. Whatever they're talking about. You gained something. You didn't know that before. So we're like blessing you. In, in a sense you're cursing us. Like man the hell with those dudes. Bums and clowns. But yet, even in the midst of that, you're being blessed. You're, you're learning something of the Lord that you didn't know uh, uh, previous. And you're seeing uh, a culture. You're seeing uh, uh, the love of brethren, true men. Okay? It says, being defamed, we entreat. We are made as the filth of the world and are the offscuring of all things unto this day. <whistles> we appeal gently. When evil things are said about us. Yet we are treated like the world's garbage, like everybody's trash right up to the present moment. <laughs> but they're like, hey, you just are fools. Y'all don't do nothing. Y'all don't fight back. We don't have to fight. The fight is not ours. It's of Yahweh Bashim El Shah. And even through it, we're being refined. We're being put in the fire. We're being put in, in a, a tough situation. But only through the pressure can uh, uh, you, you emerge gain anything right so it is what it is now let's go to this word fool and then we're going yeah, it's going to uh, trickle into something else we're going to go to the book of uh, ephesians four where we at ephesians four and it reads i therefore the prisoner of the lord hey because our people and just people in general, like, you're a fool for serving the Lord. Do you live your life? No, we are a prisoner of the Lord, but yet we are free. We're more free than, than anybody else on the planet. We have liberty in Mashiach. Okay? Sorry, I got to bump. Bump it again, you know? <laughs> Lord's little IT don't get on my case. I'm bringing it out. Salakia. Bear with me, brothers. We oh, yeah. at. I'm back. I can't have to bypass all the commercials and all that crap that comes on before you even play uh, the music. But let's play it back and listen to what he says.
See, he said we're never gonna survive unless we get a little crazy. <laughs> okay, ooh man, and he really gets into it. And seal, uh, man, um, seal of approval. Let me get that seal. Okay, and I, I never really, cause you know, you think of like the, the the animal, the seal, you know, but you, you don't really think about seal. Like, <laughs> ooh, this is Isaiah eight and sixteen. Bind of the testimony. Testimony of Amashiach is the spirit of prophecy. Right? It says, bind of the testimony. Seal the law among my disciples. The students of the Lord. Those that are going to be disciplined. As you go disciple, discipline. You can see discipline in disciple. You know, the same words. We have to be disciplined. In order to become a fool, hey, you got to have a, a different spirit on you. A different mind to not give a damn about what the world thinks. I'm doing this for the Lord. I'm not just making a fool of myself just to make, be a fool. I'm doing this for the Lord's sake. Now, this is John 3 and 33. He that have received his testimony hath set to his seal that Yahweh is true. <whistles> See that? There it is. Okay. I know it was in John 2. Um, uh, uh, believe on the one he has sent. Seal of Yes, but I know in the other translation it says seal of approval. <laughs> yes, okay, it's blue letter man. So go to it it's to believe. Let's put that in. Let's see what pops up. Okay. in John uh Salaki bear with me brothers let me all right Shalom Makim I found it I'm back this is uh John 6 and 27 labor not for the meat which perisheth for that meat which endureth unto everlasting life which is spiritual which the son of man shall give unto you for him have Yahweh the Father sealed. Now let's read in the NLT. But don't be so concerned about perishable things like food. Spend your energy seeking the eternal life that the Son of Man can give you. For Yahweh the Father has given me the seal of his approval. <laughs> seal, right? Seal. We're never going to survive unless we get a little crazy. Okay. So we're never going to survive. Yeah, he getting down, man. Yeah, no, you know, he getting down. Like, no, no, you ain't. You, he, he's in there. He said, no, no, you're never gonna survive unless, you know. <laughs> and that's what the Lord was saying. He's like, stop being concerned about the perishable things like food or whatever the hell else, but seek the eternal life that the Son of Man can give you. So, being a fool in a carnal sense to everybody else's eyes, we don't give a damn about what they think and what they say because we're looking for their, that eternal life that it can only come through the son of man, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Okay? The people that don't come in are the foolish ones because if we are, are counted fools, but guess what? We're going to get into the word uh, a fool in 1 Corinthians 4. Okay? And, and there's so many benefits of being uh, uh, in the Lord. There's benefits, man. We really are set at liberty. Okay, now let's go to fools. Okay. The word there is moros in the Greek. Now let's read Ephesians 4 and 1. I therefore the prisoner of the Lord beseech you that ye walk worthy of the vocation, the calling wherewith. You are called. 
with all lowliness and meekness and with long suffering for bearing one another in love. And that's the only way. Because to most people, like, oh, they did you wrong, so you got to do them uh, uh, wrong. If they did you like that and you just going to, like, bow your head and just let it let it go go unanswered? Like, no, it's not a foolish thing that I didn't bite back at these people or done anything in, in retaliation. I'm leaving it in the hands of the Lord. He's going to make everything right. And then most people are like, you're a fool. You're a fool. You're foolish as hell. Like, why wouldn't you do that? Me doing something, is that going to change anything? It's not going to change nothing, man. You leave it in the hands of the Lord, it's done. Once he does it, it's done. Okay? All right? It says, endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. The way brothers move, it will seem foolish to most people. You know? But really, it's freedom. Brothers can leave a wallet. Uh, uh, with a brother or leave something that, that that you own with the brother brother ain't gonna do nothing with it he'll get it back to you or be since uh, it'll be still in the same place you left it can't do that in the world the world are fools we are not fools but to them we are fools we are uh, 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 despised you know not knowing that we are at peace to, to those uh, uh, without, they seem to die. Us, we die to this world, yes, but we are at peace. And the Lord says, there is one body and one spirit, even as you are called in one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one power and father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all, the elect. But unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Mashiach, give the faith ultimately. Wherefore he saith, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive. He took us out of captivity in our spirit, in our mind, and now we are free. And gave gifts unto men, different types of gifts, preferably the gift of faith. But then there's a different measure of faith to each man, and then each man uh, uh, acquires a gift, either the gift of tongues or. You know, or teaching, prophecy, the different gifts of the spirit, the gifts of, of, of the stones and, and oils and other things of that nature of healing and different different things. Oh, and also the, the, the four the four things that every every man can have, which is a uh, is the most profitable thing in a man's life. The four. Uh, pretty much the four virtues that wisdom gives is in Ecclesiasticus. Uh, four to two. Let's get it. Wisdom of Solomon. Uh, seven. No, no, no. Eight. It says, if riches be a possession to be desired in this life, what is richer than wisdom, which is Yahweh Shah and Mashiach, that worketh all things? And if prudence, which means of quick perception, you, you're careful, you're sagacious wise it says and if prudence careful and if prudence work who of all that are is more cunning is, is a more cunning workman than she and if a man love righteousness which is immortal her labors are virtues for she teaches temperance self-control and prudence carefulness being of quick perception justice which is righteousness and fortitude being manly strong firm stable established which are such things as men can have nothing more profitable in their life. If a man desires much experience, she knoweth things of old and conjectureth aright what is to come. She knoweth the subtility of speeches and can expound dark sentences. That's what you're going to find out to the world. You're a fool, but these are all the things you're gaining. You're conjecturing aright what is to come. You know the subtility of speeches and can expound dark sentences. The word of the Heavenly Father foreseeth signs and wonders and events of seasons and times through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Mashiach. Therefore, I purposed to take her to me to live with me, wisdom, knowing that she would be a counselor of good things and a comfort in cares and griefs. As most people think you're crazy because you don't do uh, certain things anymore. You know, 
but it's not foolish. You're actually wise about it. Like, now, nah, why why I'm going to cry over uh, a thing that's clearly out of my power, a thing that cannot be reversed? I'm just going to accept it, see it as it is, and move on. Now, let's, now let's get this word foolish. Fools for Mashiach's sake, or fools for Mashiach's sake. The word there is moros. In the Greek, G, 3,474, moros. It says foolish, impious, godless. But we're not godless to most people they see, think we are. Or in, in, impious. We're not impious. We're, we're, uh, we're for the Lord to find. We're going to go back. Now, impious. Pious means for the Lord. Impious means not for him. Most people think we're not for the Lord. But we are for the Lord. Not showing respect or reverence especially for God. We're not showing respect or reverence for the God of this world, but we're showing respect and reverence for the God of Israel and his son, Yahweh Bashim al Shai. That's why I say we are fools for Yahweh Shai's sake, not for this world. People are foolish for this world that they run out of their wits for money, women, uh, uh, their stupidity, their pride. We're, we're, we're going out of our, our wits for the Lord, really, but we're gaining our, our our mind is being conformed to the image of his son. We're not getting dumber or, or, or weaker or lesser. We're actually getting better. Hmm. Most people think we're absurd or blockheads. But it's funny, I, I, I believe the blockheads is always following Gumby. Hey, but we're, we're the blockhead, blockheads to the world following the Lord. We're constantly driving, by, you know, we're, we're constantly following him. Like, hey, well, there he is right there. Let's, let's go to wherever he's going. Now, let's get the root. It says Strong's definition, moros, probably from the base of, and it says dull or stupid. We are, uh, uh, we're foolish to evil. Let me, let me, let me get that. We're foolish to the, to the evil. So like you, yeah. Flies up in here. Um, uh, we're foolish concerning, uh, evil. Let's get that. Out of here, man. Fly. Yeah, Shaitan in the mist. Uh, foolish. Okay. Concerning evil. Bear with me, brothers. Mm, there it is. 1 Corinthians 3 19. For the wisdom of this world is foolishness with Yahweh. For it is written, he taketh the wise in their own craftiness. And the Lord has chosen us, the base, to confound the things that are mighty. Because we seem base, nothing of the sort, through. Let me see here. Here with me, brothers. And there it is. First Corinthians 1 and 27. But Yahweh have chosen the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. And Yahweh by Shemel Shai have chosen the weak things of the world to confound the things which are mighty. And that's us. You know, seem foolish, but we're confounding the wise of this world. The wisdom of this world is really foolishness with the Lord. And then we seem weak, but we're strong. We have wisdom. Wisdom is better than weapons of war. How about how about that? It says this first Corinthians 1 to 25, because the foolishness of of uh, Yahweh is wiser than men, because it seemed foolish for us to, to preach and, and do the things we do and believe in eternal life. But it's wiser than men, because the Lord's mind is not like man's mind as the high, as the heavens are high above the earth. So are, so are his ways high above our ways and the weakness of Yahweh is stronger than men. Even the weak things in our mortal flesh that makes us seem weak, it is powerful in Yahweh by Shemel Shai. It's powerful. It's like the least things he can give, but yet it's powerful uh, uh, unto us. Let's see here. There it is, 1 Corinthians 1 and 21. For after that, in the wisdom of Yahweh, the world by wisdom knew not Yahweh. It pleased Yahweh by Shemel Shai, by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. You see that? 
it's foolish to the world, but is is a thing that can save your spirit, your soul of what we're doing. See? Foolish concerning evil. Let's see here. See here. Bear with me, brothers. Hmm. Oh, simple. It was simple. Hey, but it's, it's kind of like the same word. See? This is Romans 16 and 19. For your obedience has come abroad unto all men. I am glad, therefore, on your behalf. But yet I would have you wise unto that which is good and simple concerning evil. Now, we're going to get... Um, we're going to get that word simple after, but let me get this word fool again and go to the base <clears throat> of the particular word moros. Here we are. It says moros, probably from the base G 3,466. Let's go there and guess where it goes. Boom to Mysterion. So we're fools for Mashiach's sake, but we fools, right? so to speak to the world or oh, they're foolish they're, they're, they're stupid but yet what does the fools from the corner eye possess the mystery mysterion in the greek three uh, g 3466 mysterion let's get it. it says hidden thing secret mystery general generally mysteries religious secrets confided only to the initiated and not to ordinary mortals a hidden or secret thing not obvious to the understanding, a hidden purpose or counsel, secret will of Yahweh, the secret counsels which govern Yahweh in dealing with the righteous, which are hidden from the un from ungodly and wicked men, but plain to the godly. So it's not a foolish thing to do the will of Yahweh, though it seems foolish because men count slackness, but the Lord is not slack concerning his promise. See that? Only given unto the initiated, not revealed unto ordinary mortals. But that was crazy. It went to Mysterion. It went from Moros, fool, a uh, dull, to boom, Mysteri. Mysterion, it go to the, 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 uh, the base of it, boom. Really, they seem like fools to the carnal, but in the spirit, boom, they have the mystery that has only been revealed unto the initiate, initiated, not revealed unto ordinary mortals. Secrets. Okay, religious secrets and, and things of that nature. That's not common to, to, to men or, or, or at least known. All right. Now, let's go to Romans 16. We're going to get a few more scriptures and close out. Okay, Romans 16 and 19. We're going to go to the word simple. And it reads, let's read it in the NLT. But everyone knows that you are obedient to the Lord. This makes me very happy. I want you to be wise in doing right and to stay innocent of any wrong. And the power of peace shall bruise Satan, the adversary under your feet, shortly. The grace of our Lord, Yahweh Shai be with you. Amen. Uh, so it be true, Amun. Right? Because wisdom is better than weapons of war. We seem to be the fools, but we have we have the mystery. We've been initiated. We seem weak, but even in the weakness, is not the Lord's power made known? Yes, it is. Now let's go uh, to the word simple. Okay. We're going to get, we're gonna get uh, something else. Seem to die. Got the birds singing. Mm, and this is the Lord Yahweh Shai praying that the Lord gave uh, wisdom to the babes, to those that are insignificant. And then Yahweh Shai was praising the Lord for that. He said, even so, Father, this is Matthew eleven twenty six. for so it seemed good in thy sight. The Lord hid it from the prudent and, and wise of this world and have revealed these things unto babes, those that are insignificant. Those that are seen as fools or, or base men or, or unlearned men. But yet these things were given. Unto Yahweh, uh, these things were given through Yahweh unto his men. 
that in this world seem base and nothing, but they have the they have that treasure in earthen vessels. This is a Luke 10 and 21. In that hour, Yahweh shall rejoice in spirit and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent. What the mysteries? What uh, us uh, being seen as fools, but having that mystery, us having the riches of the, uh, the world to come, the glory of the kingdom of heaven, the seal of the Lord's approval. Come on. In that hour, Yahweh shall rejoice in spirit and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent and has revealed them unto babes. Even so, Father, for so it seemed good in thy sight. Mm. That's, that's beautiful. For that. Okay. And the, and the Lord has given us the, the hidden manner. And I want to get that uh, lack. But I'm going to get uh, babes in that uh, in that scripture. And let's go to the word simple here. Because these are beautiful words. But the most people, are oh, you simple as hell? Really nice means simple. If somebody says, yo, you're so nice, means you're simple. <laughs> but brothers know how to play Clark Kent and then be Superman. We know in what uh, uh, fashion and form to do it. When is the appropriate time, when is not appropriate. Have some scholarship about yourself, all right? Now, this is G185. And the word there is? Strong's G185. Akerayas. 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 All right. And it says, um, unmixed, pure as in wines or metals of the mind without a mixture of evil, free from guile, innocent, simple. And that's what the Lord said uh, uh, through in Revelation that the men, uh, there was no guile found in their mouth. They were virgins, right? They were untouched by philosophies and, and unmixed in mind, pure. All right. Tahar in the Hebrew. Pure, all right? Pure as in wines or metals. It's precious, precious metals. Gold, silver, precious stones. Of the mind, right? It says we have this treasure in earthen vessels. Where is the treasure at? In our mind, in our heart. And it said that the prudent uh, heart is going to uh, get knowledge. And uh, uh, and pretty much uh, it says it's going to get knowledge. And uh, in, in an ear, a wise ear is going to seek the knowledge all right it says of the mind without a mixture of evil free from guile innocent simple harmless blameless the sons of god as lights shining in a dark place for a crooked and perverse nation so I like it so i'm in my eye all right then this is deuteronomy 2 and 7 deuteronomy 2 and 7 for the Lord Yahweh, by Shemashah, thy power, hath blessed thee in all the works of thy hand. He knoweth thy walking through this great wilderness. Now, this is in the past of our forefathers that were in the wilderness. A lot of them uh, uh, that murdered perished, but yet the Lord sustained them and they lacked nothing. How much more now in this time, though we are seen as fools, we're lacking nothing in this, in this great wilderness. The Lord has sustained us. OK, it says. These 40 years, the Lord, Yahweh, by Shema, Shah, thy power have been with thee. Thou has lacked nothing. All right. And, and even going into the mana, uh, certain Jake that had a lot didn't go over. And those that had very little didn't lack. And so we're going to get that lack. OK, it's Corinthians. Bear with me, brothers. There we go. Second Corinthians eight and fifteen, as it is written, He that had gathered much had nothing over, and he that gathered little had no lack. And that's us in this truth. The brother that got a little more of the gift. A faith that measure, they, they don't they don't go over. Nor the brothers that have very little, though they have it, never lacked it, lack anything. Because we're all in Yahweh Shai. 
one towards another, you know, gaining, growing, excelling. If we're going to survive, we have to be a little crazy. Every brother that's in here, hey, you're crazy. But you're crazy about your how about my shot. Not crazy about this world. Not crazy about a woman. Not crazy about a job. Not crazy about money. Crazy about your how about your mouth shot. And that in itself is a gift. That in itself is a treasure. That's why it says uh, we have this treasure <clears throat> in earthen, earthen vessels. Okay. That the excellency may be of Yahweh Bashmel Shai and not of us. Okay. That was pretty much it. Let's see here. It says, The power of peace will soon crush Satan under your feet. May the grace of our Lord Yahweh Shai be with you. And that's it. That grace, that gift. Okay. The grace is everything. Okay. That's it. Now let's read this one more time. Romans 16 and 19. For your obedience is come abroad unto all men. I am glad therefore on your behalf. But yet I would have you wise unto that which is good and simple concerning evil. So we're simple concerning the evil and, and, and the ways of wrong. But in Yahweh Shema Shai, and we stand, we're here, you know. Let's, let's get this. Yep, this is a wisdom of Solomon 4 and 2. When it is present, men take example at it. And when it is gone, they desire it. It weareth the crown and triumph, triumpheth forever, having gotten the victory, striving for undefiled rewards. And that's what the men of the Lord have done. Yeah, we look foolish and the people see us. Oh, this is the same crazy dudes on the corner. At first, we were like a like a, an anomaly or, or, or a spectacle or something new like what the hell is that like people are stopping in traffic people honking at them go but they looking like what is that over there but we've been out there so long they're like oh it's just them crazy dudes with the dresses and stuff on not knowing they're saying oh they foolish is stupid but not knowing those foolish guys over there unto uh, unbeknownst to you those foolish guys as you see them have the mystery of all that is what's coming what's valuable what's important what is pleasing unto the Lord and his son? What is the seal of approval unto him? Okay. Oh, and I got to go back to, um, let's go to, uh, I got to go back to John for that. Uh, but there was something else. Babes. Let's get the word babes. That's what I wanted to get. Because we're, we're insignificant. We're nothing. We're, we're, we're stupid to a lot of people. Foolish, so to speak. But now under, uh, not understanding that the, those foolish ones, so to speak, to the carnal eye, have the mystery. They have the gift. They've been freed. They have the treasure. They're beloved of the Lord. They're an example. This is when it is present. We're, we're present now, but we're not going to be there forever. Our apostles, our elders are not going to be here forever. When it is present, men take example at it. And when it is gone... Once this word is gone, it's a famine of the word. They desire it. Pe people are going to desire it. It weareth a crown. Why? Is wisdom. Is the truth. And this is the crown, ultimately, that Yahweh Bashimah Shai was talking about. Let no man take thy crown. This gift that I've been giving you. Okay? More, uh, 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 marvel uh, not at uh, great matters. For more things have been revealed unto thee than men understand. You see that? It says it weareth the crown. And triumpheth forever, having gotten the victory, the victory over this world, even our faith, a gift, striving for undefiled rewards. See that? That's it. There we go. This is Wisdom of Solomon 4 and 8. For honorable age is not that which standeth in length of time, nor that is measured by number of years. But wisdom is the gray hair unto men, and an unspotted life is old age and the life that we now live is through the son of the heavenly father as uh paul said i am what i am and the lord uh bestowed grace upon him that that he should be a a, a pattern of those that will believe unto eternal life and that's it, it says he pleased yahweh going into enoch i believe and what does enoch mean learned man hanuak learned man it says but wisdom 
Salakia says, but wisdom is the gray hair unto men and an unspotted life is old age. He pleased Yahweh and was beloved of him so that living among sinners, he was translated. Yeah, speedily was he taken away, lest that wickedness should alter his understanding. And we just got the word um, simple. Uh, it says be wise for the good, but simple concerning evil. And then when, it, when we went into the word simple, it means of a pure mind, one that is unmixed. See? So we're simple concerning the evil and the wrong things in this world. Though we seem foolish for not entering into them in these riots. All right. They said they, they look at you that you'd run not uh, uh, with them and, and riot to excess. You know, we're no longer doing those things. We're prisoners of the Lord. All right. It says he pleased Yahweh and was beloved of him so that living among sinners, he was translated. Yes, speedily was he taken away, lest that wickedness should alter his understanding or deceit beguile his soul. It says, for the bewitching of naughtiness, the obscure things that are honest and the wandering of concupiscence, which is self-control. It says, doth undermine the simple mind. He being made perfect in a short time, fulfilled a long time. And we know in order to be made perfect, we must suffer. And we, we, we're only here for a short time, but it says, but he, it says he being made perfect in a short time, fulfilled a long time. Now let's get to, uh, let's get this in Luke 20, uh, 10 and 21. Get that word, babes. And then we're going to get what Yahweh Shai said, uh, seal of approval to believe on the one he have sent. Because we're fools for whose sake? Mashiach's sake. And the things that he have promised us, uh, he will do and has done. But people are, oh, that's whatever. I can't wait on that. I don't even really know if that's really going to happen. It is. You got to have faith. That, that's the thing. You must have the gift of faith in order to please the Heavenly Father. And you must be uh, uh, believe that he is Yahweh. And he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Let's go to the word babe or babes. And the word there is Nephios. Strong's G 3516. Napios. 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 It says an infant, little child, a minor, not of age, metaphor, metaphorically childish, untaught, unskilled. So they see us as unskilled, untaught, childish, uh uh, you know, in 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 our in our in our teachings. It really is not childish. If you're a child in the spirit, if you're born by the spirit, then it's, it's, uh, it's milk unto you. It's, it's, it's good. It's food. It's, it's nourishment. It's water. Okay? So it revealed them unto babes. Okay? Now let's get the root of the word. Epos. Epos. A word. Okay? So it says it says unskilled, untaught. That, that's what the men on the outside, the carnal men think. But what, what did we actually receive? A word. Whew. See that? The word, Yahweh Shai. That's it, man. Now we know what to speak because the Lord is in us. See that? We were a little child. All right. Is that not going to be the greatest in the kingdom to, to come as this little child? Let me get that little child. Because people in this world act childish because they really are children. But we're, we have become children in the spirit. We're, re, we're relearning everything again. OK, hey. I see a Matthew 18 and four, whosoever therefore shall humble himself as this little child, the same is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Woo. Oh man, that's it. So to the world we're childish, but yeah, we have become children learning again, being taught, being built up. But the lay did not Yahweh shall rejoice. Like Lord, you, the, the, the water father, that you have hid this from the prudent and wise of this world, but have revealed them unto babes, these untaught or unskilled men to the world. 
but yet they received what? The apos, a word, the word. We've received the Lord's son. All right. And then and through that, we're going to gain a, a, a exosia, power over mankind. Those that have received him gave he power for them to become the sons of Yahweh. Okay. Let's get up out of there. And let's go to uh, John 6. Okay. In order to survive, we got to get a little crazy. In order to survive, on, we're never going to survive unless we get a little crazy. Never going to survive unless we get a little crazy. And we only going to survive. We're only going to survive through Yahweh Shai Mashiach. He is the, uh, the vine. We are the branches. Let me get that. And the Lord was the hidden mana. Okay. Those that, that uh, uh, had a lot didn't go over. And those that had very little didn't lack. We had that hidden mana. We're eating. The Lord, Yahweh Shai said it perfectly. Those that hunger and thirst for righteousness shall be filled. Okay. Let to get down. Uh, Hmm, trying to think, taste and see. Bear with me, brothers. Hmm, Psalm 119 and 103. How sweet are thy words unto my taste. Yeah, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Proverbs 24, 13, my son, eat thou honey because it is good and the honeycomb, which is sweet to thy taste. <whistles> See that? The rocket thy Yahweh, Bashim Now this is um, Psalm 34 and 8. Oh, taste and see that the Lord Yahweh, Bashim Shai is good. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. But yet we are fools to this world for trusting in the Lord. In a power we can't see. In, in, in precious promises that have not yet been fulfilled, but yet we believe that they will be achieved and fulfilled because the Lord, our power, through his son, told us. Is there anything too hard for the Lord? Have the Lord ever forsaken those or, or, or have those uh, that called upon him ever been confounded? No. See, now this is Job 34 and 3. For the ear trieth words as the mouth tasteth meat. So our ears... Uh, 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 we're seeking for knowledge and our heart got knowledge as we as we read earlier the heart seeketh uh, uh the heart getteth knowledge the wise heart getteth knowledge and the wise ear seeketh knowledge and gains knowledge ultimately now let's go to uh the point let's seal of approval yeah that's it now this is it uh john 6 and 28 then said they unto him what shall we do that we might work the works of Yahweh? They replied, we want to perform Yahweh's works too. What should we do? Verse 29, Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, this is the work, uh, this is the work of Yahweh, that ye believe on him whom he have sent. That's it. Beautiful. And that's what we're doing. And because of that, we have become fools to this world. But yet we're never going to survive unless we get a little crazy you got to get crazy and from that word fool it jumped to what mysteria the mystery the thing given unto the initiated not revealed unto ordinary mortals you see a foolish thing indeed to a carnal mind but yet to a spiritual mind you went deeper it said you want to know how far the rabbit hole truly goes uh, uh what did morpheus say I'm here to offer you the truth, nothing more. That's it. Now, this is John 6 and uh, 29 NLT. Yahweh Shai told them, this is the only work Yahweh wants from you. Believe in the one he has sent. And in us doing the works and having these gifts is only uh, adding on to the building of Yahweh Bashimah Shai. We are the, the Lord's husbandry. We are the Lord's building. And it is a glorious and splendorous building. Indeed, in the husbandry, the work, the, the enterprise is only growing exponentially because each brother coming in, 
with his measure of faith and that gift, oh man, is, is only getting greater and greater. It said, uh, 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 or at the beginning of the song, I think it says, um, uh, those that want to fly have to be a little crazy. Those, those that believe that they can fly have to be a little crazy in that song. Okay. Let me actually get, uh, the song. Okay. I'm going to get, uh, the actual words to the song, but let's get that. Uh, Solomon three. Yep. It says, but the souls of the righteous are in the hand of Yahweh and there shall no torment touch them. In the sight of the unwise, they seem to die. We die to this world. And the departure is taken for misery. Even those of our brethren that pass into the spirit realm, most people think they wasted their life. But no, they had the mystery, uh, uh, the mystery, mysterion. They had the gift. They had the treasure. They had the works that followed them. They, they uh, fulfilled a long time in a short time. Okay? They please the Heavenly Father and the Son. And they're going from us to be utter destruction, but they are in peace. For though they be punished in the sight of men, yet is their hope full of immortality. And what is what is immortal? Righteousness is immortal. And having been a little chastised, they shall be greatly rewarded. For Yahweh by Shemal Shai proved them and found them worthy for himself. As gold in the furnace hath he tried them and received them as a burnt offering. Okay, and I sit. Bear with me, brothers. <laughs> 